up guys welcome on back uh i am out here with the one and only bad bonnie i'm at the uh, <laughs> oklahoma auto exchange don't hide you can't hide on video <laughs> she's trying to hide too but uh so we're coming out here i'm gonna link up with lucky from lucky's wheels and deals here in a little bit but i'm gonna see what some of the vehicles are going through at the regular auction and um knock the video out for you guys So the auction is about to start. We got some uh, big Tahoes, Silverado, some other vehicles coming up. And uh, this is interesting. This is a different experience than doing the online uh, salvage auction. But I figured I'd give you guys a look at it so you guys can get an idea of uh, how it works and what they're going to go for. So I'm going to move over here to the side and we'll see what these uh, right, these cars are going to go for. Ten thousand four hundred. Holy crap! Sold. 
okay. This right here is even more crazy. This is even more crazy than Copart. I swear to God. I ain't gonna lie. This right here is bugged out. Now you got a red light 2013 Chevy Silverado 2500. It's a Vortec. It's got some front end damage too. Look, they're at 5,000. Six, there it is. 7,800, 8,400, 88, nine grand. It's a red light. Now again, that means that there's definitely stuff wrong with it. As is, 9,600. I am shocked. So, 9,600 for that last one. It is an 18 Nissan Versa, yellow light. It's missing the whole front end. It's at 2,200, 23, 25, 26. 2700, 2800, 23 grand, 3300, 3400, 3500, 36, 37, 38, 39, 4 grand on that car missing the whole front end, 41, 42. Uh, 4200 for that Nissan. Now this is a yellow light. This is a 17 Ford F-150. Look, it's starting at 14,000. It ain't got no exhaust. No exhaust. Listen to it. And it's at 15,400 right now. I don't see it. All right, it sold 15,400. Now this Chevy is a green light, meaning it's it's good to go. This is 17 Silverado, 1500. Eighteen thousand, eighteen six, eighteen eight, nineteen thousand. Damn, man, this is crazy. They, they going crazy with these prices, man. I don't think I'm, I'm not gonna bitch about Copart no more. <laughs> Yo, twenty one two. Two hundred on that last Silverado. Now, this is a Dodge Ram, and I'm betting this one has the Cummins in it. It is a red light. It's a 5500. I don't see any uh, bidding on it yet. Six thousand, sixty-eight hundred, seven grand, seventy-six, seventy-eight, eight grand. 8,200, 8,400, that's a diesel now, 8,400 for a 5,500 regular cab, that's a deal, 8,400, that was a deal, now this is another 17 Chevy Silverado, 1,500, it's got a yellow light, looks clean, 16,2, Seventeen two. Seventeen four. Seventeen two. Seventeen four. So crazy, right? And it had a hundred thousand miles on it. And it had a hundred thousand miles on it. Damn it, man. All right, here's a thirteen Silverado. It's at eight grand. Six grand.
They moving these things quick. This is a, and I gotta be honest, it's a little bit more exciting than than uh than online. Another 13 Silverado with the Vortec 2500. Is that six grand? Six grand, six grand. Ah. $6,400. That last Chevy Silverado sold for $6,400. Now, this is another diesel. This is a 5,500 Dodge Ram. It's loud here. Sorry, I'm yelling at y'all. 5,500 Dodge Ram diesel. 2012, it's at 10,400. Now, this is a quad cab. Look at that. It's at 86, 9 grand, 92, 94, 94. So, $9,400 for that, for that quad cab diesel truck. It had 290,000 miles on it. They go a Nissan, the 17 Nissan Versa. It's at 1600. It's at 1600 right now. It's got 130,000 miles on it. 1800 sold. That wasn't bad. Now we got another one. A 17 Versa, same shit. Back door is damaged though. They got it for 15 so far. This one's at 17, now that one's got damage. So, for the same price, 1700. Not bad. All right, guys, so the stuff on the auction floor is cool, but I want to show you guys a little bit of the stuff that's um, uh, out and going to be running through and kind of get a, a little look at it before things get crazy. Let's uh, walk over this. I think that's luck over there. Let me see. All right, guys, so I wanted to switch up a little bit. We're back outside, and we're looking at this Dodge Charger. I'm willing to bet this is probably just a V6, but, yeah, it looks that way. It looks that way with the Bobo seats. But, yeah, it's basically a, you know, basic basic charger cool a couple different things out here look at this mercedes over here they got a couple of trucks they got that ford f-150 platinum that thing looks clean to be honest the ram, looks better. The ram does look better but it's got a 6.4 and it's not a diesel that's a waste it's basically got my car engine in the ram Look at this 2012 Mercedes Benz CLS. This came from a BMW dealership. She looks clean though. Let's see if she runs. <clears throat> oh, I gotta do this. It says replace key battery, so that's not good. Let's see if she's got any issues. Turn this off. Still says replace key battery, that's not good. Huh. Overall, it looks pretty clean, to be honest. But seeing what some of the regular cars are going for, this thing's going to go for a lot of money. I've been shocked at what I've seen 
of what I've seen going so far, um, a lot of the vehicles have been going for a ton, a ton of money. But now one of the stars of the auction today is actually a Ford Raptor. I don't know if it's just the 5.0 or the, uh, or if it's an EcoBoost. Got a Benz out here for sale with some Nestle crunches on it. <laughs> he fucked up windshield, yep. <coughs> I'm interested to see what's up with this Raptor though. Definitely, definitely want to see what the deal is with the Raptor. Whew. That one is smoking. All right. This one is an F-150 Raptor. Got a custom exhaust. Looks pretty clean. Looks good around the front. I don't see any damage on it. Uh, I guess I got to start it and see what she's working with. She, it, more than likely, if a dealer sent it here, it's got a ton of miles. It's got to have a ton of miles, I'm guessing. 60,000. It doesn't have a ton of miles, though. Huh. All right, let's see if she starts. Not an eco boost. Well, you know what? I shouldn't say that. I need to pop the hood. They just make it sound good. Let's uh crack this hood and see what the deal is here. 2018. With 60,000 miles on it. It had to have issues. I, I just don't know of a a dealer that's sending a raptor to the auction for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like I I don't get it. These trucks do not sit on lots very long hold on one second guys it is an eco boost though i don't like that i missed the five o raptors this one has what 3.5 nah yeah eh, it is what it is let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section down below it's clean, it's nice, it's got a nice suspension and everything, but the EcoBoost just ruins it for me. But guys, if you happen to be out here now, this is not open to the public. This is a dealer only auction, so you can get a wholesaler. You don't have to be a dealer in Oklahoma, you could be a dealer somewhere else and still bid. But this is a dealer only auction, so you have to be a dealer to bid on these um, vehicles. So. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a different look so you can see some different stuff out here today. Um, and that's what we were doing. Is that an Oldsmobile Aurora over there? It might be, I might have to check that out. Oh, the window, is it stuck down? That would suck. This BMW M Sport, 2014, 89,000 miles. Let's see if that window will go up, cause that sucks. I'd hate that for somebody, for it to rain or something. And it screw up the, oh, she's dead, dead. She ain't got no power or nothing. Yeah, you're dead. Uh-huh. This is a red light all day, so this one's got problems. Ouch. Clean, though. Clean. Ah! Is what it is. Tried to do the right thing. I'd do the same thing if I was at Copart. I'll put the window up, but, well, it is what it is clean though all right guys we'll take a look at one more of these vehicles outside and look at this 66 duramax we got sitting right here gmc sierra z71 four by four a little bit of a dent in the fender 
Don't know what that would have been. It also got some chewed up, chew up around the door. So it must have been rubbing at some point. But outside of that, she looks fairly clean. Claw seats, which kind of sucks. 240,000 miles on a 2015. This truck's been through a lot of work. It runs, not great. Yeah, it runs like shit. It's it's got 240,000 miles. It's been dogged all the way out. It looks good, but it is definitely not. It is definitely, definitely not a vehicle that you, a truck that you'd want to buy. This thing's going to require a lot of work. A lot of work. I just want to give a major shout out and a thank you over to Bad Bonnie. Link for her channel will be in the description. And shout out to the Oklahoma Auto Exchange uh for letting me come out here and, and do what i do but uh you guys may see a few more videos we might get it i might come back here again and get another uh uh live auction version of the video in so stay tuned for that but let me know what you guys think about this something a little bit different in the comment section down below and i'll catch you guys on the next one all right guys i got one more thing we're going to drop in here we got some bonus footage of a military lot walk around so we're going to drop this in here as well and um yeah, let me know what you guys think. What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And I'm out here at Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma City. And I figured, let me go see what's on the military resale lot. That's available. And to be honest, it don't look like much. But we'll add this into the vlog or something else. Won't we'll do it just like this. And, uh... But they look like they got a couple. They got one interesting one. Let's go look. All right, guys, let's start with the first one that is up today. And I can already tell you, it looks like it's going to be too much money. 45,900 miles, and they're asking 16.5 on the private party range in Mint is 16.7. Oof. Oof. And it's got scratches on the front gonna get dirty out here automatically oh yeah look it's been in a collision the front end's a little busted oh man i feel bad for the people trying to sell the stuff like this because it just isn't gonna sell you know well we don't have to look really anymore at that and, and let's look at the star of the show this is a foos a foos camaro i thought i didn't know foos did camaros but okay 2015, 7,000 miles, signature chip Foos Camaro. A chip Foos Camaro. Not bad, I guess, right? Chip Foos? Huh. Huh. Now, I do wonder what it is that they are asking for this one, but this thing is clean. It is definitely definitely clean you look at that is that challenger for sale over there <laughs> 2015 camaro one lt coupe no why yo chip foos you're fired man why did you even why would you put your name on a v6 man 3.6 liter v6 chip foos design six speed automatic with paddle system. why did you even put paddle shifters on it retail was 47 550 and they're selling it for 22 if you paid for okay i'm not i'm not hating but i have to keep it a buck if you paid forty seven thousand for a v6 mustang congratulations you played yourself that's ridiculous man i don't care if it said princess diana on the side i don't care yo chip foos because it says foos on it you it, man, hell no nah, man Hell no. Hell to the no, no, no. Hell no. See, and I thought, I thought that was good. That was going to be legit, you know, a nice V8, something cool. <laughs> that thing sucked. I'm sorry. I don't care if that thing said rich. I don't care what it say on it, man. That's crazy, man. That's like a Richard Petty Camaro. You don't ever see, I never think you'd see a Chip Foose. 
So this is a a pull behind RV from Forest River. They want fourteen thousand for this. Fourteen grand, huh? Fourteen thousand for this. Got a little bit of mold on it. Or weathered. Doesn't look horrible, but fourteen thousand. Ugh. I don't know about all that. And then you got the big boy Winnebago bus parked here. Now they could just be parking here because I don't see any for sale signs. You can actually pay or, you know, get permission. Sorry for the wind in advance, guys. You can get permission to park, um, which is, looks like that's what they did here. They just pulled it up and parked it. So not for sale. Well, that's it for the military lot. Nothing crazy out here today. I guess we'll have to find something else damn man i can't believe that man if you're as if you if you feel cheated like i feel cheated by a chip foose camaro with a v6 let me know in the comments below that's some bullshit i'm sorry